Have you ever thought about the huge animals that walked on our planet long ago? Join us as we explore the exciting world of dinosaurs and answer some interesting questions you've always wanted to know. In this video, we will look at what are dinosaurs? What was the biggest dinosaurs? Did dinosaurs converse? Do dinosaurs exist today? And what time were dinosaurs found? Let's find out the answers to these interesting questions. But wait, this video will be in two parts. In this part, we will answer these five questions in detail. In the next part, we will answer five more fun questions. If you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get updates about our new videos. Let's get started. Question 1. What are dinosaurs? What are dinosaurs and how did they become the rulers of the earth? Dinosaurs were a group of reptiles that lived a long time ago during a time called the Mesozoic Era which lasted from about 50 to 65 million years ago. They were very different from each other, with some walking on two legs and others on four. Some had feathers, while others had scales. Theropods were the meat-eating dinosaurs, like the well-known Tyrannosaurus rex. Sauropods were giant dinosaurs with long necks, like the Argentinosaurus we mentioned before. Then, there were Ornithopods, which were the duck-billed dinosaurs. Dinosaurs changed and grew over millions of years, getting used to different places and taking over the land. They were the rulers of the earth for more than 160 million years, much longer than humans have been here. Question 2. What was the biggest dinosaur? Imagine a creature so big that it could be bigger than a bus. What was the largest dinosaur ever to walk on earth? The biggest dinosaur we know is the Argentinosaurus. This huge dinosaur lived in South America around 100 million years ago. Argentinosaurus was a type of sauropod, which means it had a long neck and long tail and walked on four legs. Argentinosaurus could grow to be about 100 feet long, which is like having three school buses lined up together. It also weighed as much as 100 tons. That's like the weight of 14 African elephants. Can you imagine standing next to a creature that massive? Just its leg would be taller than a human. Scientists believe its enormous size helped it reach the tallest trees to eat leaves and stay safe from predators. Question 3. Did dinosaurs converse? Could dinosaurs talk to each other? Let's explore how these ancient creatures might have communicated. Scientists have often wondered if dinosaurs could communicate with one another. While we can't be completely sure, we have some clues. For example, some dinosaurs had crests or hollow bones in their heads that might have helped them make sounds. Parasaurolophus, which had a long, tube-shaped crest, is a great example. Scientists think it might have used its crest like a musical instrument to make low sounds. These sounds could travel long distances, which would be great for talking across thick forests. But it wasn't just sounds. Dinosaurs might have also used body language, like how birds and reptiles do today. Movements, positions, and even changing colors could have been ways they communicated. Some scientists believe that certain dinosaurs had complex ways to communicate, much like birds do today. Question 4. Do dinosaurs exist today? Are dinosaurs really extinct, or do some still live among us? Surprisingly, dinosaurs are not completely gone. Their descendants are still here today. Birds are considered modern-day dinosaurs. This might sound strange, but birds evolved from a group of small, feathered dinosaurs called theropods. If you look at a chicken or a sparrow, you can see their bones, feathers, and even their behaviors give us hints about their dinosaur family. The mighty Tyrannosaurus rex has more in common with birds than with any other animal today. So the next time you see a bird, remember that you are actually looking at a living dinosaur. Question 5. What time were dinosaurs found? When did dinosaurs first appear on Earth and how did they change over time? Dinosaurs first showed up during the Triassic period around 230 million years ago. They started off small but quickly grew into many different kinds. By the Jurassic period, about 200 million years ago, dinosaurs became the main animals on land. During the Jurassic period, we saw the rise of giant sauropods like Brachiosaurus and meat eaters like Halosaurus. The Cretaceous period, from about 145 to 65 million years ago, was the time of famous dinosaurs like T. rex and Triceratops. Dinosaurs changed and grew during these periods, becoming more different and spread out. 
But their time on Earth ended suddenly about 65 million years ago, likely because of a huge asteroid hitting the planet. The Jurassic period is well known for the rise of giant sauropods and the powerful Allosaurus. Today, we learned about the biggest dinosaurs, how they might have communicated, what they are, if they still exist, and their timeline of change. Did you find these facts interesting? Don't forget to like and comment for more exciting dinosaur discoveries. Stay tuned for part 2, where we will answer even more interesting questions. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be the first to see our next video. Until then, keep exploring the amazing world of dinosaurs.